Um, so today we are talking about segments and rays. And um, if you think back to kind of when we were talking about lines, remember how with the lines we always said that there should be kind of the arrows at the end of the lines, um, even though it didn't always draw it out well on the um, on the worksheets. Lines have the arrows on the end. What does that sh like indicate? Show. Yep. Everyone's saying the right thing. Yep. So that's that's um, showing that it continues on forever. So today, as we start talking about segments and about rays. Um, you'll kind of see why the arrows are really important to be there um, because, you know, that's not always the case. Okay. All right, so a line segment is, it's just a piece of a line. So um, we'll have two points and all the points in between that make up a line segment. two points on a line and all the points in between the line segment. Those points, the two points that we mentioned are called the end points. Okay. So when we name line segments, um, it's going to be kind of uh, like we did lines. Um, if you remember with lines, though, we just needed any two points on a line. Um, so we could have, you know, AB, BA, CA, AC. Um, and when we named it, we put a miniature line above it with the arrows. Um, so things that are going to change for line segments is um, the, the two points have to be the end points. Okay, so even if there was like another point here on this line segment, um, it's got to be named AB because you've got to be showing, you know, where does this line segment start and end? Um, that's what tells you. Another thing is instead of having a line above our letters, above our name, um, now it'll be just a line segment. Okay. So we could name this AB, segment AB, or segment BA, but guy use the endpoint names and um, put a little line segment above it. Okay. One of the good things about geometry is like, you know, most of our symbols are really just like miniature versions of what it is that, that we're naming. So, you know, the segments, a little segment above it. The lines align above it. We'll get to the ray in a minute, but that's the same way too. Um, angles are going to be that way. Triangles, circles. So lots of things. The symbol is just a little miniature version of whatever uh, the object is we're talking about. Okay. Um, one of the good things about segments versus lines is, if you remember lines, they went on forever. We can't really uh, talk about the length of these lines if they're going on forever. So line segments, um, we will be talking in the next couple days and a little bit more today about kind of their lengths. <coughs> so that's going to be helpful. And um, ray, I always imagine the ray being like if the line segment and the line had a baby, that would be a ray. Because the ray has one endpoint, like the segment, and one endpoint like a line. So it's got one endpoint, and then it goes on forever in one direction. 
So the official definition is a point on a line and all points to one side. So normally the dotted stuff here, normally that wouldn't be here. Um, we're just trying to show that that would be on, it's a part of a line, just like the segment is. So when it comes to naming rays, um, the order is going to matter. So the letter that you list first has to be the endpoint. And then the second letter um, is the one that's off on the, you know, going on forever part of it. Okay. So if we were going to name this ray, <coughs> We could call it A, B, so endpoint first, and then we put a little mini ray above it, so that's ray A, B. We could also name it ray A, C, and still be talking about the same ray because it, it's still starting at A and then going off forever in that same direction. Um, some names that don't work. We cannot name it BA because that would be talking about a completely different ray. So BA would be talking about if I had a, you know, a ray that started there and went off this way. That would be BA, and that's, you know, that's not what we're trying to name right now. Um, same with like BC, whoops, got a little crazy there. Um, BC would be like starting here and going off this way. So, I mean, again, it, it could be a ray, it is a ray, um, but not the one that we had in the picture. Sometimes my pen likes to go a little crazy. Um, what's another not good name for this particular ray? CA, yep. So that would be like if it started here and went that way. Um, so you can see, you know, we got to have the endpoint first. That's when you're, when you're doing the ray. That's kind of your most important thing. All right, segments good, rays good, all right, those. All right, uh, so let's talk about length a little bit. Um, so as I mentioned, segments are great because we can actually measure them. Um, they're not infinite like a line is. Um, so when we are talking about the, the length of a segment, um, there's two ways that you can kind of write that. One is to just take the segment's hat off. So if you um, take away the little segment symbol above it, that now means you're talking about its length instead of talking about the segment itself. Um, so if you see something that says like AB equals eight, that means that that segment AB there um, has a length of eight units. Um, you can also write it as M for measure of segment AB, um, but I can tell you that if it's me writing it, um, I'm going to write it the first way. I'm going to write it like this. Um, but if you see the little M, Sometimes it's used on angles and stuff too. M means measure. So, okay. so in this case, the segment name is AB or BA with the hat. Segment length 
would be without without the hat. Um, in a way, you know, a lot of times in, in uh, geometry, we're going to come up with kind of shorter ways to write things quite frequently. And so one way to save some kind of space and, and time and stuff is to use what's called hash marks. So hash marks are like little dashes like this. And if you put a hash mark um, on two different segments, it means that they have the same length. So in this particular picture, um, since A, B, and C, D have that same hash mark through them, we know that the length of A, B equals the length of, of C, D. Okay. So this just saves a little bit of you know, time. We don't have to actually write this. We can just use the hash marks. Um, and you know, if it's, if it's one thing like this, that's not a real big deal, but um, on the next slide, we've got kind of a lot more going on in the picture. And so you can see where the hash marks save a lot of time so that you're not like having to list a bunch of different equal things out. So here's what the hash marks would look like if you've got kind of more than just one thing going on. So we can see like A, B and A, what about G? They each have one little hash mark there, one dash. So we would know that they were equal. AC and AF, those have two little hash marks. So we would know those were equal. And then AD and AE have three hash marks. So we know that those are equal to one another. So just kind of having this picture with all the hash marks on it, saves us from having to write like that whole thing out where we're explicitly saying all the equal segments. Okay. Um, once we start learning about angles in the next few days, um, angles have hash marks too. They, they're a little bit different. They're kind of like tucked in the angle a little bit, but it's the same basic principle. It's gonna mean that, that things are equal. Um, just to harp on this again, you know, we can't assume things are the same size um, without being told. So, you know, if we see something like this, we can only tell one thing, or well, we can only tell two things are equal here. What what do we know is equal? Yep. Yep. So A A D and B C. So we know A D and B C are equal. Um, we don't know anything else. Okay. So we don't know um, AD equals DC. We don't know DC equals AB. Um, nothing, we don't know anything else. Yes, this definitely looks like it's a square. It looks like they're all equal. Um, you know, we could probably get a ruler out and be like, yep, that's pretty darn close to square. Um, but for geometry purposes, unless we, are told that they're definitely equal, we can't assume it. Um, think of this as kind of a, you know, it's kind of a liberating thing there for you. We're not expecting um, you to make judgment calls like that. So if, you know, if we want you um, to, to know that DC equals AB, we, we are going to tell you. So um, you don't have to make any judgment calls like that. All right, one last definition for the day. Midpoint, this is another one of those that sounds like what it is. So midpoint sounds like middle point. 
Um, and that's exactly what it is. So it's the point that breaks a segment up into two equal parts. So C is the midpoint of AB. So it breaks it up so that AC equals BC. And you can see the hash marks there.